Proportions can be used to extrapolate data. That means take a small uh, data set and try to expand that. Now, let me pick on the Texans for a second, okay? Let's talk about our beloved Houston Texans for the 2013 season. At the start of the season, they had won two games out of two games, right? Right? So, for the whole season, how many games are there in a whole NFL season? There are 16 total games, right? So if I looked at that small um, data set and the Houston Texans had already won two out of two games, how many games would I have expected them to win for the whole season? If I'm creating a proportion, if I'm going to extend that data, how much would it be? 16. It would be 16, right? Because don't these guys still reduce to a one-to-one -one ratio? Now, what had happened after there had been four games played in this season? Do you guys remember? How many games did the Texans won after the first four games? They'd won two games. See, they won their first two games, and then they lost their next two, right? So if I were to take this, now this is a greater sample size, right? The larger the sample size, the more accurate your data is going to be. That's a statistical thing. But if I look at this as a proportion, if I were to extend that for the whole season, well, they won two out of four games. Well, then how many games out of 16 do I expect them to win? I would expect them to win eight games. So the ratio at the very beginning was a one-to-one -one ratio. What's the ratio here? one to two. So what does that mean? At the beginning they won one game, they won one out of one games. Now it looks like they're only winning one out of every two games, right? Let's go a little bit further on into the season. This is when the tears start to flow. After they had played eight games, how many games did the Texans won? Some of you guys remember that season because it was just last year. They won two games, right? What the fill in the expletive? So they won the first two, and then they lost the next six. So if we go to 16 games, how would you make this a proportion? What would that answer be? Four. We'd expect them to win maybe just four games now, right? So what's the ratio of wins to games? Two to eight reduces to what? One to four, so that means they were winning only one out of every four games. Do you guys remember what happened at the end of the season? You don't remember? How many games did they win last year? No. Never give up hope. Keep hope alive. <laughs> My son, who has a J.J. Watt jersey, Gave up and stopped watching. Daddy, why are you watching them? They're just going to lose. I'm like, no, you never give up on your team. Never give up on your team! <laughs> At the end, they only won two games. What is the ratio there? That ratio is one to eight. They only won one out of every eight games. What is this, the Philadelphia 76ers? Holla! JK, but <laughs> talking about sample sizes real quick, what about your Astros? Your Astros have won two games out of three games played. In case you guys don't know this, there are 162 total games to play in the season. How would you figure out how many wins we expect them to have?
what if you make this the variable x, right? So the cross products being equal, 2 times 162 equals what? 2 times 162 equals what? 3 times x. Now, if you put this in your calculator real quick, this is what you're going to find. 162 times 2 divided by 3 gives me what? So here's right now, this is what we're going to say. With this, with this small sample size, the Astros are projected to win 108 games. If they're anything like last year, the reality is that that will be how many games they lose. Small sample sizes do not determine reality. We can only project, predict, but that's all they are. They are not fact or reality.